Okay, question number four is another good question from mechanics. There is a rod of mass 1.6 kg length L and here is a wall of height H and the rod is inclined to the wall at an angle 30 degree. This is rough. Now it says the reaction of the wall on stick is equal in magnitude to reaction on floor. Now let's say first of all reaction due to the wall on the stick. So let's call that as R. Now the reaction here is also equal to reaction here. Now there is a slight clarification that must be given. Normally when we say reaction it's a combination of normal reaction and the friction. But if you solve in that way, none of the option would match. So actually, the question is trying to say, by reaction on the ground, as only the normal reaction. So we need to calculate. In fact, we calculated it and we found what was the original meaning. So here, here one normal component of the reaction and the tangential component. So that is friction. And this is the normal reaction. And the examiner in fact wanted to say that this is equal to this but they ended up saying the reaction but when we say reaction we understand as the resultant of these two but fine enough this is the modification we would make on our own part in order to match with the option and here another is mg now this is the fact Let's try to solve it. First, seeing the translational part. If you see, this is 30 degree. Now, let's see the vertical part. R plus R by 2, R sine 30, would be equals to mg. Let's see the horizontal part. This friction F would be equals to R cos 30, root 3 R by 2. And finally, we'll write the torque. And the torque equation, let's try to write the torque about this particular point. You see, the value, if this is h, let's try to see how much would be this particular value. So let me just try to write this as y. Now, that's very simple, you see. y cos 30 means y root 3 by 2 is h. So you could see y is 2h by root 3. Now let's try to write the torque about this point. The anti-clockwise torque would be R multiplied by Y. And Mg, let's try to see. You see the total length is L and this is 60, so this is 30 would be equals to Mg sine 30 into the distance which is L by 2. So these are the three options and when we solve these three options, you get or these three questions when you solve it, and do a slight bit of calculation, correct option as option number D. All right, now let's go to question number five. Question number five is from ray optics and it has been set from prism. And of course, the concept of total internal reflection is also involved. There is a prism with this as theta and this angle of incidence is alpha. The refractive index has been given as root two and it says light undergoes total internal reflection at PR when alpha has minimum value of 45 degree. So on the basis of that, we need to calculate theta. So when alpha is 45 degree, the situation would be something like this. Rarer to denser, it would bend towards the normal. And it's a minimum condition. So then the light would be going critically. And this is the normal. So first of all, you see if refractive index is root 2, then the critical angle has to be 45 degree. Together, when angle of incidence is 45 and refractive index is root 2, use Snell's law and very easily you would get the angle of refraction as 30 degree. Now, if this is 45, this would be 45. So, calculating theta would not be a trouble. That's a triangle. The sum total of all internal angles 180, that would give you the first option as the correct answer. So 15 degree would be the value of theta. This is about question number five. Now let's proceed to question number six and with that we would also enter to section 